Welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. <sighs> this is awful, this lawnmower. It was £25, so um, I bought it. <laughs> and it's one of these horrible SV150 things, so... It's in previous video, I've just listed that on Facebook, but I bought this. And now I've been told, and I, I agree with people I've asked, that what I'm going to try and do, or have a look at doing anyway on this, won't work. I don't think it will, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this carb off and all these springs and take it all out the way and I'm going to get a Briggs tank and a carb and I'm going to try and bolt it somehow to it and see if it runs. Now, it probably won't work due to, you know, different setups and um, how much fuel it needs to burn in a different engine and I know there'll be people thinking, what's he doing? But I, I've always wanted to take all this off and put a Briggs carb set up on it and see if it runs. So if I can do it, I'm going to do it. But I can't do anything at the minute because this pull cord hasn't snapped, but it's actually not retracted either. In fact, they're slack. So before I can do anything else, I'm going to have to take this off. If this recoil's completely gone, I mean, I paid £25 for it. I'll probably uh, take some bits off it and sell it because I don't want to buy a recoil for this. It'd be about £25 for a recoil, I would imagine. So I need to get this to work. Um, another little tip for these mowers, if you get one of these like this, you can see here it's got some, just had a quick look around it, I don't know what's happening here. This actual uh, kill switch cable's hanging out of here, which is probably how he's brought the pull cord by trying to pull it and it won't start. But if you get one of these, these aren't too bad, they've got a separate tank on the back. Before you do any work on it, just fill it with fuel and make sure it doesn't leak. Because I've done some of these before where I've serviced it all, gone to fill it up and the tank's been split. And if you see one of these that's got the tank and the recoil all as one piece, definitely make sure the, the petrol tank hasn't split because they are an absolute nightmare. You can get a conversion kit which converts it to this, but for the price of it, it's not worth it. So with these type of mowers, put some fuel in and just make sure it's not split. Let's have a look in here. I hate these, these are horrible recoils, they're just really nasty things. I'm not sure why that didn't rewind in there, but let's have a look at this. So there's no, absolutely no spring tension in this at all. And I've undone these before, you just undo this screw. There's like a really tightly wound spring, and I don't like messing with things like that. But basically where it uh, catches, the spring catches, it's actually bent over. It normally sits in some plastic. Normally the plastic breaks away, or the spring breaks. I don't like messing about with springs, so I always just buy the whole kit. Now there'll be people that can take these off and they'll have a spring rewind tool and they'll just buy the spring and put it all back together but for me it's just not worth the hassle but I can rewind it currently by hand so I'd get one go at pulling this over to try and start it so I can actually try a few things with it so I'm just going to show you this this is a engine is an SV150 if you're not sure what yours is there's a sticker under there and it actually say SV150 on it and I'm just going to show you, as I've shown on loads of videos, this spring configuration for an SV150 lawnmower engine. You can see how they all join up here. This one's a little bit bent. But you can see how everything works as it should. There, everything's moving. A lot of the problems you get with these is this little part here. See where this gold tab is at the top. Underneath there, where you can't really see, there's a tiny little spring. And um, they snap on these. And when they snap, these won't run. A lot of problems I see on these as well, they have the actual head gasket on the engine goes, or this in here, this is an inlet manifold here, this has a little gasket on, I've seen those go, and if they leak, it won't run evenly. Other things I've seen, on this, these cables here, see someone's done it here, they've tied these cables together, sometimes it can just obstruct it working correctly. That might have even happened there. So I'm going to unbolt this carb, I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to take my Briggs carb off my mower, and I'm going to just somehow try and plug it into it, and see if we can get this started. So let's unbolt all the slot. Now I've shown you where the springs go. Put this cover back on, I'll quickly take this off again, just so you can see in a little bit better. I'm going to put it back on, so I won't lose these little bolts on the top. But these are rubbish, these lawnmower engines. Absolutely dreadful. Probably some of the most watched videos I've got are on these. And that tells you a lot, because people are struggling. And take that off. I'll just take this lot off. Just unbolt all these. Two here that go right through the carb, right into the engine. This one just hooks to this little bracket here. I'll take that off. I'm just going to pull all this out of the way. I 
I'm still uh, wait, waiting to get some surgical forceps to clamp these fuel lines. You can see here, I'm not sure even if it's possible just to get a Briggs carbon here, but I want to push a carbon here and just see if I can get it to run. I'm not even sure what kind of, if it's even worth it, but it's just somehow, I've, I've, it's always interested me. I've always wanted to do it just to see exactly what does happen when you do that. So let's take that off there. Just swing that carb out of the way for now. Because of course you won't need that fuel line and that carb if you could put a bridge set up on here. So I'll try and leave all this connected. I just want to kind of make way to get a normal carb on that inlet here and just see if it runs at all. So what we're doing here, we're going to take, you're going to take this ignition coil off for me, aren't you? Yep. And then we're going to get this inlet manifold that goes from here. Smell your fingers a minute. Goes right from here, right across here. I'm going to try and extend it. I'm going to get a pipe the same size. Try and extend it out a bit just so I can actually get this carb. I'm just having a tidy up at the minute. So I can actually get this carb to uh, push on wherever it is. I don't know if it's still up there. Yeah, what I want to do is make the inlet manifold long enough so I can push it in here. I'm not even sure if it's the same size. Just to test it. As I say, I don't think it'll work. I just want to explain a little bit about. Uh, why I'm doing this really because most of the problems that come with these little SP150 engines is this carb here and the running problems that you get and the configuration of the springs just the general way it's done is um, it's pretty poor really and the simplicity of this Briggs carb here is basically just bolt it on and it should just work so that's why I want to do it, I've always been kind of intrigued you need a socket on there don't you? you need a, a, yeah. a ratchet don't you? try it with that mate, swap that for that so you're going to take that ignition coil off for me, aren't you? And we'll take this inlet manifold off and we'll see if we can find a way of extending it. I'm not even sure how to do it. I'm not great at stuff like that. I've got some of this PVC cement I've used for stuff in your house before, but we'll see what we can do. That's, That's it. Is it coming that. off? Yes. Yeah, you can get it till it's finger tight and you can take it off, can't you? You know, do the other one as well. Oh, it's coming out. That's alright. You know that's an ignition coil, don't you? Yep. Oh look alright, there's a little gap there between the flywheel, I can see a gap there, yep. just there look, that's what we like to see isn't it. Yeah. I've actually got some parts coming from this, uh, for this, and they've been actually uh, sent to me for free, someone's going to send me these parts for free. It's a chap called Stephen Brayshaw, has his own um, repair business, I think he's up in Perthshire, Scotland, actually I'll, uh, I'll just uh, put an advert on screen now for him as well, so if you're in that area, just take a look on there, he's actually got loads of bits for these 150, these SV and RV 150s and he's really kindly posted me a, a recoil for this. Um, I can't remember what else he was going to send as well, something else that I needed for it David, what was Don't he going to send? Springs? Span? No, not springs, anyway, he's, uh, he watches the channel and he does a lot of uh, these repairs, he works on ride on mowers and all sorts and I know he's, uh, he's really skilled in what he does and really reliable so if you're after someone in that area anyway be sure to check Steve out and say thanks very much Jim for that, I really do appreciate that. Remember what it was now, it was that air filter box David, oh. the air filter box. So that's the point isn't it, if I don't have a carburetor on it, I'd have to use the Briggs air filter on the top one now, otherwise it wouldn't have an air filter. So Steve's going to send me a, an SV150 recoil and this uh, air cover filter box. Are you going to have a go at pulling this off then, this uh, ignition coil? Pull it off then. Right, and underneath there'll be an electrical connector, won't there? there? Yeah, turn it over. Turn it right over. Yeah. Alright, under all that's there then. We'll actually have to unhook it from there, won't you? Oh. Yeah, and then pull it away. It might still be attached by a wire though. It has to have a wire. Does that not come off from there? It might. Well, that's alright. You don't need to disconnect yeah. it if you don't. You can leave it on actually and just put it on the side, can't you? Pull it on. It's up to you. Do you want to take the wires off? How yeah. many wires are on it, mate? How many wires are on it? Pick it up. Mm. Yeah, can you see that's just one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You, you just pull it off from there, see if you can slide it off. There All you right. go. That's it. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So now we need to get this off, this uh, inlet manifold here. So if you use your same tool, you'd probably be able to unscrew that one as well, won't you? We'll take that off as well. Yep. How's that going? Yeah, you've got it, haven't you? Now. Hey, it's good, this, isn't it? I can film and you can Hi. do all work. Yeah. Hey, what's going on here? It's dirty, this I'll room. be. I'll, I'll, what? Is it it's dirty? dirty yeah. I'll be your mobile cameraman now. Oh, yeah. And you can do all this graft. Did I get the money? No, you've had loads of money. Yeah, sure. Haven't you? I have a lot. Yeah, you have, yeah. I might give you something for it though, might you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you managing? Yeah, oh, good lad. You say it's nearly off this? Yep. Alright, take it off then. Oh, oh, yeah, you got it off. Nice. Right, you can pull that inlet manifold off, can't you? See if you can slide it out. I hope it comes out from there without wanting to take that other thing off. I think I have to take this off. Oh, that's it, yeah. That's it, that's oh, off. Yeah. Right, great. 
Push that washer back on a second. This one? Yeah, push, no, no, onto, onto the inlet. Push it onto the inlet you've taken off. The package oh, is taken off, put it onto there. And so we don't lose it. Yeah. So what I wanted to know is if this inlet manifold here, if this actually fits in this Briggs carb. As you can see there, it fits pretty good. Is that safe? Is it safe? Yeah, well, is it safe? Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think it'll work? Hopefully. It didn't go though, is it? But I've always wanted it's... to know, if I plug that in there, and get this bolted on this mower, I, why doesn't it work? I, I want to know why it doesn't work. I don't just want to see if it works or not. I want to know why it doesn't work. Um, so my comment section on this video is going to be full of people telling me why it won't work. Um, but I don't know if it does or not. And just to satisfy me, I want to extend this. I think I'm going to cut this. I'm going to try and extend it somehow. So it sticks out, even if it sticks right out to there, just so I can get it in. It's probably going to travel too far as the fuel. I don't know. The thing is, I don't know, you see. So... Yep. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I think it's going to work. Do you? Well, let's, let's cut this off and see if we can make a longer piece then. Right, so this is... Uh, it looks a bit crackers this, doesn't it, really? But this is connected up here. That's actually got the correct end in there. That's actually got the other part of that inlet that I cut off in there. And then I've attached it to that with some uh, PVC cement and connected it up. I've just put this uh, ignition coil back on. So I'm going to get this other starter recoil I've got. That Steve Brayshaw gave me. I'm going to put that on. Um, and I'm going to put some petrol in there, I'm going to pull it over and just um, probably watch it massively fail but it's something to do isn't it so you know why not let's get this recoil off here let's just make sure that's all there let's put this recoil on here and let's just for fun let's just have uh, five minutes see if we can get this running right so as daft as this is I'm going to try it just normally but I don't think when I prime this I don't think it'll go far enough down this inlet to actually make it to the engine, but let's just try it, let's just see if it works. Give it quite a few primes just to hopefully shove a lot of fuel down there. And then uh, we'll see what happens. So anything could happen here really, but I'll still have to take this, this brake off here. I notice this cable's not through here really. Right, now it clicks. Right, here we go. Splutter. It's really not uh, sealed on that well this, I don't really know why I'm trying it, but I did get a little bit of a cough out of it then. I don't think anyone was expecting that to work, was it? But uh, obviously there's nothing holding this actual, where the governor springs are, there's nothing holding the throttle there, but if I can get something to hold the throttle, I'm well chuffed for that. I've wanted to do that for years, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously that looks horrendous, and it's just really, really rough, and I've still got the carb attached, but at the end of the day, it, it runs. It starts and runs, because sort of 90% of the problem with these, these SV150 engines are just the carb and all the linkages, and there's so much rubbish and faff around it, all these little springs, just these awful linkages that all fall to bits and the carbs are just awful. I just want to find a way where I can find one of these and just, you know, keep a collection of these old Briggs carbs and just strap them to it and let them go. I don't know if I'm going to get to that phase, but this is the... Uh, it's kind of the, the uh, prototype phase, I guess, but it starts and runs, which I can't really believe. Let's give it another go. I 
can't believe the fuel reaches far enough to go right down this inlet, which of course I could short. If I can find a way to get this breather connected to this here, this breather, and I can find a way to mount these on these little SV150 engines, you think this could be a little uh, game changer, because I don't really like swapping the whole engine. If this bit's all alright, it's just a carb, then why not just swap the carb? with you although it's not 100% perfect to say nothing's sealed up properly I've actually had SV150s off service that have not run a lot better than that so I'm well chuffed with that that's uh, that's great fun I can't believe it I just you know you wouldn't believe that that would run would you when you you know all the faff you've had up over the years with these SV150s faffing out the cables and the carbs and everything just to stick a bit of pipe on and then attach it to the inlet and let it go it's fantastic if I could find a way to get these uh, just to hold the actual throttle in a position where it'll start and choke enough to start and just run at a good tempo, that'd be amazing I think that's a long way off but um, it's good fun isn't it, I like doing stuff like this I wanted to film a few different things of videos just so, you know, I've had a lot of these, I know I've had a lot of brigs, I've done a lot of different stuff I wanted to try this, all I've done is, all I've done is link that the problem is I can't actually stop this move moving about and I would have to connect this breather into here as well so if I could find a way to shorten this, even maybe just cut this arm off here and just actually bolt this actual tank on to this motor I don't know, I don't know I'm, it's uh, early days isn't it, and it's probably more hassle than it's worth but the exercise of this video was just to see if I could get this SV150 engine to run with a Briggs and Stratton carb, which it does so leave me a load of comments in the comments section um, just tell me what you, what you think you might want me to do with this next is it a waste of time, is it never going to work how would you mount it on here, would you cut this off, would you just take all these springs off what would you do, what, where would you go from here, but I think this is uh, potentially in the future, maybe something I can look at doing just getting these in, stripping the carb off and all the bits off finding a way through all these, I mean there's parts here where you can bolt bits of metal tank or maybe just mount it on, and get a few of these tanks from ones that I've got for spares or repair or whatever but um, I know what most people put, just swap the engine out because it's cheap Chinese, you know, I won't swear, but that's what people put, and it is, so I would rather swap a, a carb and a tank over than a whole engine, and just waste a whole engine, if I can get these, probably about a tenner each off uh, off eBay, or a collection of them, from somewhere that's getting rid of some, that's fantastic isn't it, I can't believe it runs, so I think the biggest problem I'm going to have, apart from mounting it, is how do I get these, uh, what do I do with these springs, I wonder if I could make something off here, just to, uh, to change it over, just to hold this about so I could do with a bit of help, there's a lot of good channels on here that uh, watch my channel as well which I thank you for so any ideas, this is um, down to the subscribers really, I, I really could do with your help here and I'm asking for suggestions with uh, what to do next so I'm well chuffed, I can't stop saying I'm, I'm really happy, I feel like you know that Back to the Future film, that, that uh, scientist, I feel a little bit like that but only on a really small level <laughs> So anyway, it's raining again, so I'm going in. So that's it. I'll see you next time. Leave us a comment. Thanks very much. Bye.